Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Welcome. We are in June and feels like everyone is going to a prom or getting married, getting engaged, having a baby. Wow. It's like half the year. We are almost there. Don't you feel like this entire year has gone just like this? Hmm. But what am I going to be talking about today? Today I'm going to be talking about how certain things that we think we're not good at, and yet we are, and it creates a frustration, which in turn creates anxiety, and all this is called what? Pain, a pain in you know where, right? So my name is Lisa Bubari. I'm your expert hypnotherapist and this session is called Heal Talk with Lisa's because sometimes we talk with people. We, I bring information. I bring inspiration. I bring motivation to you. And actually, I've been having some messages coming to me, um, asking me questions, asking me for advice, and it can be the last one was about hypnosis and if hypnosis can help someone uh, remember something uh, a password but this person is like in the beginning stages of dementia well the answer is yes why because as I've explained many many times our conscious mind that's the conscious that's where we make decisions and everything so we look listen and learn consciously but our subconscious mind is where it stores all information and everything that has been stored in there it's like been saved correct so it's stored and saved now when our memory does not serve us very well consciously and we can't remember things right at the tip of your thought and your brain and your mind it's right it's not coming to you when you relax your mind when you relax yourself you can easily bypass what we call the critical factor which is the analyzing judging reasoning factor and we do this what we call in our um, in our work timeline therapy or we evoke what was which is going back to another time and a place and you know how we pause at a certain time in order to make changes for our behaviors and our habits we can also go to a time and a place where if that password or that code or the uh, the uh, <laughs> I'm stumped with the word you know how when you open your safe your safe deposit box and that's what they want it for and you remember everything because at one point if you have done it over and over it's already been embedded in your subconscious mind plus muscle has memory so what we do is take that person into a state of relaxation and have them go deep within and then we tap into the reservoir where all that information is plus we can even ask that person to imagine opening that safe and then they can just visualize doing it and then giving the numbers it's magic and yet it's not because hypnotherapy is nothing but science hypnosis is a science it's a technique it's a scientific technique where there is no gimmick in there now I'm not talking about the ones on the stage where even that one you when you go up on stage you give your consent to be hypnotized a client gives consent to be hypnotized to tap into their memory so that's what I wanted to talk about but what really prompted me 
to speak about pain to gain today is how we get frustrated in certain things and we get frustration can create anxiety and what you can do to immediately release that is this first today i don't know how many of you feel the same as i do because i really struggle with this it's called all this technical computer stuff things that are online things that frankly uh it's by error of a big banking company that has been made and then i call from one place to another get on the phone wait 30 minutes 37 minutes and then they get on the phone and then i ask for a supervisor because a regular agent cannot talk take care of it and the supervisor says we can't do anything about it oops i'm so sorry so it affects it affects my credit score it affects my business it affects everything else so what do we do at that time what do you do when you feel frustrated and you realize it's not anybody's fault except the person who started that which they're no longer with the company and now nothing can be fixed so who is responsible who is responsible for that but when we get frustrated and we get anxious when we get upset did someone push my button maybe but it's not that they pushed my button it's just an error an error that may cost me an error of someone's mistake either knowingly or unknowingly but it was not intended to harm me so what do i do with my frustration most of the time i go ah right everyone would do that but then realizing that this is frustrating i've got two choices i can get angry i can cuss around i can bang i can throw things away or i can laugh it out and then see if i can again go after finding how this error can be fixed and if not by golly might as well close the accounts move on because there is always a choice in life we always have a choice i can either either deal with this and say okay it's just an error and it will it's not going to affect me unless it does and i check my credit score and it's not affecting my credit score so but again what do we do when we feel anxiety flaring up and it's affecting you physically it's affecting you emotionally it's affecting you maybe half an hour an hour of your day just got wasted dealing with something that you shouldn't have dealt with is it about your name is it about ethics how is it affecting you always realize when you get angry when you get frustrated when you get so upset about something look at it is this worth my time is this worth my anger and then how you can sometimes not able to laugh it off but can you walk it off and then the worst scenario what is the worst scenario that it's happening when we talk about pain is how how do you pain is feeling powerless and then at that very moment think about it am i truly powerless because pain is also feeling the the anxiety that is coming upon you and then the insecurity that creates from the inside feeling as 
I have absolutely no recourse. And then you go into this negative uh, realm, into this negative loop of thinking, I can't deal with this. I have no control over this. I am out of control. That in itself creates more anxiety within yourself. So even if it is not from the outside, it can be inside. So again, is it worth it? Truly, raise your hand, say yes, if you really think it's worth it. Is it worth your frustration or can you find another way to cope with this? I believe we always have a choice. We do. We can leave, we can walk, we can turn around and say, I am ready to pause and stop right here and recognize that in life, we all, all have a choice. You do. You can find ways that from pain, you can come into your greatness and your greatness can be just one decision. Realizing that you have a choice. Realizing that there are ways to fix, to repair, to overcome. And knowing that you have total control and can handle more things gives you that queen's gives you the knowledge that I can, I will. I have more power, I have more control than I thought. And yes, even if you fly off the handle for a moment, do it on your own instead of inflicting it on someone else. And remember, Maybe tomorrow, this will be a nothing. This won't even be something that was concerning you. As a matter of fact, here's my question to you. Haven't there been many, many times that you have been frustrated in your life? Maybe being stuck in traffic, someone cut in front of you. Maybe someone said something to you that it offended you at that moment. Or someone has belittled you or something and where you are today is far far greater far above far removed from that time and a place and right now you would laugh about it just think about it I think life is that that if we only realize that this issue this frustrate whatever it is that it's frustrating me now in a way it's really a non-issue in a bigger picture and when you get angry resentful when something is not happening it's because it didn't meet your expectation at that very moment at that very moment and you realize I can move myself. I don't even meet other people's expectations of what they want, when they want. Because in life, things happen. You know, things always happen. And it's how we deal with it, with our stressors, with our... Uh, problems, take a nice deep breath, pause, laugh it off, walk it off, or just shut everything down and just give yourself two to three minutes of time out until you collect yourself enough to realize the next phase of gain, how to gain your confidence, how to gain control again, how to get into this place of from that frustration to in flow. From fear, frustration to flow. A 
second part of the game is to acknowledgement and acceptance of what is happening. And when you acknowledge yourself that you are frustrated and at that very moment you might just say something or do something that is going to affect someone else or maybe you need to pause. That acknowledgement in itself, that acceptance of where you are, giving yourself a pause is already putting you into a place of I can be in flow. I have total control at this very moment. And when you gain your control, when you know you can handle things, you are far greater than where you were in that negative loop. And the next one is when you thought there is that insecurity, you come to this independence, I can, I can handle it, I can manage it. Let me go back and see where this, this, loop was where this where did I lose whatever it is if it is a lost where I lost my memory and I can't remember the password allow me to get into flow and all that information will come to me you know I've hypnotized people believe it or not for them to find jewelries that they hid many 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 years ago one of the th reasons I hypnotize is like they, saying that, okay, if we can become a non-smoker, if we can drop weight, lose weight, which we can't lose, if we can drop weight and have better managing of our cravings, of our weight, and understand the emotional factor to that, realize anxiety, anger, those are all emotionals. That means something somewhere pushed a button. But what was the button? As a matter of fact, a few moments ago, I was frustrated in saying, I, I can't believe after how many times that we fix it and it's still a mistake. So where does this one person come to say, let me find a solution to rectify this? To make this right and you know the moment they say allow me to see what I can do and you go oh, at last one person can hear me actually in life we all want to be heard we all want to be understood we all want to be accepted and appreciated bottom line for every relationship because talking to a customer service talking to an agent talking to a therapist talking to a child your child your parent your co-worker your boss everything boils down to we feel anxious anxiety negativity insecure when we feel we are not heard, we are not acknowledged, what we do it's not being acknowledged, who we are is not being appreciated, we feel undervalued. And that's where the loop of anxiety comes in. That's where we get frustrated. Can't you see me? Can't you hear me? I believe if you took a moment, paused and heard yourself, what do you really want? Do you accept and appreciate yourself at that very moment when you're anxious? And then let everything flow, just unravel. And then when you smile, you go, wow, if I can't do it for me, how can I expect anyone else to see me, to hear me, to appreciate me, or appreciate how to help me? And instead of being negative and derogatory with someone, and when we become nice and say, thank you, 
Thank you for even saying that. Thank you for being on the phone with me. Thank you for opening a kiosk to see where the problem is. I feel hurt. I feel that someone is on my page, on the same page with me. So, <laughs> frustration comes when f we feel helpless. That's it. And we can feel helpless for so many things. From a disease, sickness, someone we love, they are in trouble, they feel sick, and we feel helpless, we can't do anything about it. Or just feeling helpless that no matter what you say, what you do, it's not being recognized, heard, or seen. So today, if you took a few moments and go back in your life and look at all the things that you were frustrated, angry, resentful about, and how you overcame them, and if you haven't, what would it take for you to acknowledge everything yourself? Acknowledge you, acknowledge your frustration, and say, I see where my frustration, my anger, my resentment, my stress came from. What did I miss? How did I miss seeing it validating me? How did I miss my own expectations or how did I fail someone else's expectation? And maybe you would even smile. Smile. Because for just a moment, you validated you. That's right. And if there is something that is still lingering, by all means, if you write it, if you communicate it, as if that person is going to hear it, see it, read it, and yet not send it. Truly, just write it without sending it. And see how you feel. I bet you will realize that you can accept and appreciate yourself far more deeper and then find your independence by saying I can and go to this part of nourishing and nurturing yourself. That is the greatness that shifts you from pain to gain. And if you want to know more and if you still have lingering resentments, angers, frustration, and you can't change certain things, either your habits or behaviors, by all means, give me a call. I'm here for you. My name is Lisa Bubari. Isn't it time to heal within? You can find me at healwithin.com. Always subscribe or contact me here or just send me an email, a shift happens with a choice. And I want to dedicate the closing of today's session to a very dear soul and spirit. Some of you saw my story yesterday and it was this beautiful Irish proverb that I placed in there where it said, death leaves a heartache where no one can hear. Love leaves a memory no one can steal. And today's session, today's Heal Talk Tuesday is dedicated in a memory of someone I truly loved and cared for, Maura, Maura Phillips. Maura came into my life over 18 years ago where I was doing massages at that time as well. And she used to come to me 
every other week and sometimes once a week to get a massage. And when my grandma passed away in 2001, actually she came into my life way before 2001, um, when I had just started, maybe 2000, a year before my grandma. And after she passed away, uh, Mora became like my grandma. I We sort of adopted each other as granddaughter and grandma. And we would talk about politics, we would talk about news, we would talk about my business. She would always ask me about who I'm dating, what man I'm going out with, is he nice with to me? So she knew so much about my life. And we would celebrate and go have breakfast together. So in a way, this beautiful spirit who came into my life became more than a client. Actually, I believe I have created more deeper relationships with certain clients that I call friends or acquaintances that have this big, 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 like they are a gem in my heart. And we have a relationship. It's not just a client who comes and leaves when they have created or established something or got what they wanted and that's what Mara was for me until a few days ago mm. last Friday which I went and visited her at the hospital an hour before she died and closed her eyes for the last time so in her memory and in the memory of everyone who has been a part of our life and it doesn't matter if it was for a moment an hour a season or a lifetime i want you to appreciate every relationship no matter how small or how meaningful because I believe memories are created by small, sli small snippets of experiences that we hold in our memory, which is embedded in our subconscious, and it will never be deleted. So I thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesday. And today, may you walk around with a big heart for those that you have connected with and realize greatness comes when you choose to heal within. Until next week, I thank you for being a part of my daily, weekly, anytime part of Heal Talk Tuesday. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. Until next week, be safe. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.